a 20 amp GFI and a 15 amp GFI. So you, yeah. you, you want to run a 20 amp line wire 12 to your mm -hmm. dedicated GFI. You've told me that I can use a 15 amp GFI on it. Uh, why yeah. shouldn't that be 20 amp? It seems like to me 20 and 20 makes sense. Like well, it, it really comes down to the rating of the appliance that you're actually using. I mean, if you ever actually look at the wattage and the power consumption of the appliance you're using, it's never going to exceed 15 amps. I mean, if you if you have a hair dryer that's pulling 20 amps, it's eventually going to kick a 20 amp breaker. So most of these appliances are actually rated lower than that. A lot of them are going to be around 11 amps, something in that in that area. So if it's something that uh, where you're going to have like a lot of hair drying going on all day long, let's say if it's for a hair salon, <laughs> yeah. you oh, would definitely right. want to use a 20 amp outlet for that. But for your bathroom, yeah. the few little hits of 15 amp that it's going to get while you're drying your hair, it's not really necessary to go 20 amps. It's not going to hurt you to go 20 amps, but it's just not necessary to spend the extra money on it.